Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can debug in uh, Java in Eclipse. <coughs> so I'll be taking some Selenium code and uh, I'll be debugging that. And uh, okay, so let's get started. So in this particular code, uh, which I had shown in my previous video, where I created the Maven project and created a simple class file. Suppose you, we want to debug this particular class. Uh, class, And uh, to debug, first, uh, uh, we need to know where the exact error is, right? So suppose I'll just go to driver dot find element by dot name. Okay, let's go to Google for that. Close everything. Okay, so I'm in Google. Uh, so if I just right click and inspect this one, it shows me the name as Q, right? This input tag has a name as Q. So what I will do here, go here and write uh, driver.find element by dot name. I'll give something else. So definitely our uh, dot send keys. I'll just type something. Selenium. Right. So I'm putting a wrong name. So it will not get found. So it will throw an exception. So let's run this uh, file right now. Right click. Run as Java application. If you go, if you see here, it is uh, going to open the Mozilla Firefox. We'll be going to google.com. And yes, it should have been broken now. So yeah, so if you just go to Eclipse and expand this, if you see here, uh, the exception says unable to locate element name X, right? So we know that, okay, somewhere uh, this particular element is not found, which is having a name as X. And we do not know in this class file where exactly it is located. Okay. So for that, you can just come down and see what is the file name. So here it is activity one. So I can see here activity one dot Java line number 14. So if you just click on this, it will go to this line. Right? It is highlighting this line. So from this, we can know it is coming from this line. The error is coming from this line. So to debug this, we just need to put a double uh, click and uh, double click on this uh, line here. Or you can also do something like this, right click and uh, do a toggle breakpoint. Or you can also double click to highlight it or double click to remove it. Okay. Or right click and toggle breakpoint also is possible. So we will do like this and then we have to click on this bug symbol over here on the left if you see on the top debug symbol. So just click on that or you can also right click on the class file name and debug as Java application. So this is a better way because uh, you means here it may be some other class it will debug. So it's better to come to this class file right click and debug as Java application. So when I'll write like this, what it will do is it will go to google.com and it will stop at that line number 14. And it will show this uh, window, pop-up window. Just uh, click on this, remember my decision. Or you can uh, remove, you can just uh, skip it also. And click on no, because I don't want to move to a debug perspective because all the screens will be small. So I just want to be here and debug it. So I'm just clicking on no. As soon as I click on no, if you see, it is getting highlighted over here, right? So from this, I can know my name is incorrect. And as for the error, it is not there. So what I can do is I'll just go to Chrome and say, what is the name? So the name is Q. I'll double click and copy this. Make sure you're copying it because sometimes there'll be some uh, spelling mistake or some case sensitive things will be there. So make sure it is the exact one. So I'm just pasting my queue. I'll be stopping this uh, execution in between. So I'll be clicking on this red button over here, terminate. 
because i don't want to execute by my name is uh, by ex- the locator is already incorrect so let me just correct it first so now i have corrected it now i'm going to debug it again so after correcting it we should always save the file anyways it will ask for saving also right so let me debug it again if you see now it went there and it came to eclipse because we have kept the debug point let me just minimize uh, the screen okay where it is yeah okay so now what i will do i'll press f6 okay so i'll press f6 to go to the next line sorry it is an f6 for me yeah see here it entered selenium in this uh, browser and it is when as soon as i pressed f6 it executed line number 14 and it moved to line number 15 right and i'll do again f6 and it came out and i to resume this i can press f8 so it will stop the program if we are in this particular line and if you are pressing f8 also it will resume it will not go to driver.quit okay suppose for example let me show you that again let me debug this file again okay i'll select this click on no i'll minimize this just to show you okay now i will click on f6 if an f6 okay now okay i just pressed f6 so okay to press f8 let me just stop it again we close this again right click debug as java application and just press f8 okay so i'm not going there but i'm just pressing f8 over here you see it didn't go to line number 15 it just terminated the program okay but if you have any other breakpoint it will go there suppose i have two breakpoints here so now if i debug it it will first go to the first breakpoint and then if i press f8 it will go to driver.quit see here i am pressing f8 f8 it will go to driver.quit okay so f6 is to go to the next line f8 to move from one breakpoint to the other and again resume the program okay or run it as normal and there is something called f5 so f5 is um, to go inside a function suppose for example i have a function here public static void um check verify text suppose i have okay and i'll just pass uh, this one over here okay let me just uh, okay let just pass this one okay so if i'm passing this if you see driver here is uh, not accessible right because it's not a local variable so i need to move this first to the top control x and again make it as a static variable because i have all the static methods and here i'll be accessing it i'll be initializing it and here i'll be also be accessing it okay so now it should be fine 
so now what I can do is I'll just uh, take this driver dot quit and that also I can put it over here it's not mandatory to put it over here but I'll just instead I'll keep it here and I'll just take this verify dot quit and put it here I'll call that function and I'll remove all these breakpoints and I'll put a breakpoint in line number 15 okay suppose our, our line number 21 is breaking so in order to uh, debug this we can also put a breakpoint in line number 21 but to show you how we can go from one function to the other one in a debug I'll, I'm just put putting the debug point over here okay so again right click on the class file debug as java application here it went here so now I'm pressing F5 so as soon as I press F5 if I press F6 it will go to this line line number 16 but if I press F5 it will go to line number 21 okay so then I'll press F8 it will resume the program sorry yeah it will terminate the program okay so what we saw I'll also put this in the description for you f6 to go from one line to the other f5 to go from go inside a function f8 to resume or to move from one breakpoint to the other breakpoint Okay. So these are the three things which we need to keep in mind when we are doing a debugging in our program. And debugging is very important because uh, in order to check where exactly the error has occurred, we need to know how to debug a program. Right. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please put it in the comment section. I'll be able to help you. Any uh, uh, comments or feedback also you can be you can put it in the comment section. So thank you everyone for watching the video. Have a very nice day.